Hey guys, okay. People who watch my videos keep asking me, how did you get that effect with the, like the one image is kind of merged into the other image? And um, it's really hard to explain without actually showing you how it's done. So I basically decided to show you how it's done. Um, and here I've got the finished thing. It's really simple, just simple image of Lucas Payton and the one is kind of merged into the other. I'm going to show you how to do that. So, you need the two images that you're going to use. And you need to drag the one that you want to cut up over the other image. And you kind of need to locate it where you want it. Okay, and then you look for this little symbol here. When your mouse passes over it, it should say Event Pan Crop. And you click on that, and it'll bring up this thing here. <coughs> so, the really important thing with this that you need to look for is this timeline here, which is basically the timeline for this clip that you clip that you clicked on. And um, it's got two kind of triangle diamondy shaped things here at the bottom. The one says position and the other one says mask. Now the first one you need to worry about is the mask. You go to the mask and then basically you click on anchor creation tool. And then you very simply just click around the part of the image that you want all the way around and it should turn yellow when you've completed the circle. Now, um, so that you don't have this kind of awkward cut horrible thing going on, you go to here where it says feather and you change it to, you can either change it to in, out, or both. I tend to go for both because I want it to go both in and out and kind of um, look a bit more uh, natural. And then you feather it to the percentage that you want it. You can see it on the right here and see where you want it to be. You don't want to do too much. Usually around the middle it's okay. Um, and then you're going to go back to these little shapes here and you're going to click on the other one, position. Because now you want to position the image. See if you zoom in, zoom out, you want to put it where you want it in the other picture. So, kind of drag it there. Zoom out. And useful tools for the zooming out are these two. You just kind of got to click on them, mess with them a bit, find what you want. Okay, now when you're happy with where you've positioned it, you can test it. Okay, that works. Now, the other thing to note about this timeline is that you can add these little shapes in wherever you want, and wherever you add them, that's where the effect will start. So, as you can see, I've got my clip here, and let's do it to Peyton, actually. So, we've got her clip here, and I want to zoom in exactly here. I want it to zoom in. So, I've got that on position. I've added, you press the plus sign to add the keyframe. There. Okay, I've got my keyframe here. And then, you can very simply just zoom her in. I want it to go... So now, what's going to happen is, it's going to zoom in as it gets from one keyframe to the other. So basically, that's your effect. That's it. That's what you need to know, and then you mess with that, um, and the possibilities are endless. Okay, I've done this with Sony Vegas 7. Um, if you have an earlier version, you may not be able to do it. Sorry, guys. Okay, hope it helped.